Chapter 2, Mishnah 3. The Torah prohibits having benefit from an item that was, bought, that was brought as an offering to an idol. The Mishnah lists items that are prohibited in benefit because they may have been offered to an idol. The following items of idolaters are prohibited to Jews, and the prohibition forbids having benefit from them. Wine of idolaters, vinegar of idolaters, which began as wine and became vinegar, hadrianic earthware, which has wine absorbed in it, and animal hides with heart openings, which show that the animal was brought as an offering to idols. Another Tama, Tana limits this prohibition. Rabban Shimon Ben Gamliel says, if its cut is round, it was cut for the sake of idolatry, and the hide is prohibited. But if the cut is long and narrow, it was not cut for the sake of idolatry, and the hide is permitted. Another ruling regarding having benefit from the item of idolaters. Having benefit from meat that is being brought in by idolaters to be offered in the place of idolatry is permitted because it was not yet offered to the idol. While having benefit from meat that is being taken out of the place of idolatry is prohibited since it is considered as sacrifices of the dead, i.e. idolatry. Since we could assume that all meat being taken out was already offered to the idol. These are the words of Rabbi Akiva. The Mishnah discusses the law of doing business with idolaters who are on a pilgrimage to and from the temples of idolatry. It is forbidden to do business with idolaters going on a pagan pilgrimage, i.e. they are on their way to temples of idolatry, because they will go and give thanks to their idols for their successful dealings. But it is permissible to do business with those coming back from the place of idol worship, since we need not be concerned that they will return to the idol to offer thanks.